He ain't lying. <laughs> I guess you're gonna have to find. Uh, I'm just kidding. I have a question for you. Yeah. So, uh, now, as an only fan, if you guys were to date, how would you handle that? Honestly, I don't think I. I can, I, can I be on? <laughs> Pineapple. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, I was pineapple. Like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't date. I wouldn't date you, honestly. You I would date me. I would just hit, honestly. That's it. That's I would just, so I, would, I would just hit. But it's not, it's not like it looks like I want to be with you either. You know what I'm saying? So you're just trying to play me right I'm, now. You're just I mean, mad. You just pineapple. Kick me out of here. Get yeah, of here. yeah, pineapple. <laughs> Yo, she's trying to act like she's the one rejecting him when he's the one who just rejected her. But look, I'm going to say this. A man care about a woman's past while a woman care about a man's future. If a woman has a bad past, it's going to affect her relationship with that man that she's with. Guys with option will always disqualify a woman with her past because it will affect his future. You're I'm in shock. I have a girlfriend. What? What? <laughs> Emotional, damn it! I got rejected. Hey, to your corner and fucking cry. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That men from the ages of 20 to 80 all think that girls are the most attractive around 22 to 24. Okay. Mm. But like, this is a man that cannot stand on his own, like, honestly, because... What? What the f <laughs> I love these responses, man. Like, what? Okay, women like her. Like, what do you wake up with? What do you look in the mirror and, and see that just entitles you to these five-star experiences by default? Like, we don't even fucking know you at this point. Anyway, talking to a wall, you do you, uh, but it's okay, because us self-respecting guys, we have standards as well, and um, we'll keep your application on file. Did anyone else have those girls in your high school that thought they were popular, but they were just really snooty and, like, rude to everyone? In my junior or senior year of high school, I was in gym class, and because my music taste is just immaculate my teacher let me take the ox and then about 10 minutes into the class these two girls literal leeches go up to my phone and start changing the song like pressing the skip button and me having no chill at this point i walk up to them and i'm like what are you guys doing and they look at each other and they're like we just we don't like your music so we're changing it and i was like did you ask first and they look at each other and they roll their eyes and they're like I just, I, we don't have to ask, like, this is our gym class too, you know what I mean? Mm. But it, I was like, but it's my phone, bitch. Like, you are not entitled to touch someone else's stuff without asking. Just because you are not impressed with the music. You have capped out, according to Texas guidelines, your gross is $9,200 a month. Child support is set at $2,300. You're gonna do a reimbursement to Medicaid for $276, making your monthly um, child support payment $2,576. That's how much you gotta pay. No, that's how much you gotta pay. The children live with him. He should not pay you anything. Thank you, y'all. And I said I made my ruling, so I really don't have to hear anything further. Did you have any questions about that number? 
I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option in either studio. Gentlemen, be very wary of these women who are very high maintenance. This woman or any other woman who thinks that they are entitled to something just because of their looks or even something else is just ridiculous. So yes, I do agree that a walk date is pretty lame, but coffee date, nothing wrong with that, especially for the first date. If you don't drink alcohol and you don't want to sit down across from someone and get dinner or spend a lot of money on dinner, and I bet you this woman probably wants a very fancy restaurant, it is completely acceptable to go on a coffee date for your very first date and save dinner down the line. Having a vagina does not make you entitled to a man's money. Yeah, I mean, it's shocking, but it's the truth. I'm a believer in do not make demands of someone that you yourself cannot meet. There are many, 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 many men who want to care for a woman. And if they can afford to, and they like you enough, they will. But there are also many men who have an issue with women trying to use them, you know, because there are many women out there that are looking for a man with money because they want to live a flashy lifestyle that they cannot afford. So they are looking for a sucker, you know, someone that's going to spend money on them. No. Come on, people. What would you do if, your, if a nigga called your girl a bitch? Your girl look at you. You look at your girl, you look at him. What you doing? What you doing at, at, in that moment? You just fire on this nigga? Bah, bah, bah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this nigga, like, what do you do? You gotta, it's not, it, it, I'm not saying that's, that's wrong because in certain situations you gonna have to, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta survey the, the, the situation. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, after you punch a nigga, like, you gotta, you gotta punch a nigga so hard that he go to sleep. And then you gotta check this nigga to see if he got any weapons on him. Like, that's what you need to be doing. And you know, get the fuck out and dodge. Don't let this nigga know who the fuck you is for real because now it's like, you gotta opt for real. Now you gotta always watch your back because you done punched this nigga out, you done beat this nigga up, now his pride hurt. He gonna have to get some get back for that. He gonna be looking for you, so any any time. For the last couple of nights, my partner Connor and I have been discussing going to Dublin for a little weekend away, the weekend before Valentine's Day, and I decided to contact some hotels, asking if they would like to collaborate. I basically, I go visit them, I stay in the hotel, I feature them on vlogs, I put them on my Instagram, I talk about their hotel, I write a review. I know where this is going, I, and it's just, she, how, what is the full process behind this? Whatever. In return for a discounted or complimentary stay because that same hotel would not be able to go to a magazine or to a billboard or to a television advert for a free review in something that could potentially be bringing them a lot more business. I feel so disgusting having to say this. I feel so vile and uh, it makes me kind of feel sick. But as a 22 year old girl who's running her own business from her home, I don't feel like I did anything wrong in that. Let Bro, maybe that fucking hotel, it's not in your YouTube channel's demographic. Maybe they don't give a fuck about your YouTube subscribers and their age group and their, who they are. Maybe they're local. Like, you know, who gives a fuck? They then decided to take that email, which I had written to them in confidentiality, and blast it over their social media pages. Yeah, I can't listen I was to this. I can't listen to this. You I'm not paying for everybody's you food. It's your birthday, cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? 
You right. 18, lady. I'm finna leave you. You staying here with him or you coming with me? You are When you just want to dream big. You can't let nobody hold you down, man. Nobody stop you from what you trying what up though J gang it's your boy Kelvin J man I'm back with another video let's go ahead and dive into these videos and see what these these crazy people up to in this this silly silly world we live in today let's get it women are just smarter so they I should swear. be the ones making the decisions and stuff if women are smarter than men why do they keep opening up their legs and believing men's lies that's a good question I'm smarter, but nah, you're the one, right? Are you gonna be with me forever? I'm smarter, but it, it, are you special? You think I'm special? Okay, here's some coochie, 20th guy this year. Here you go. Are you gonna be with me forever? Oh, you're gone tomorrow. Babe? I'm not your babe. A couple years back when I was in the dating scene, I was setting up a date with this beautiful young woman. Told her, come by my house, and we're going to go to the arbitorium downtown. It was nice outside. It was beautiful. We was going to have a good time. Nothing too fancy, nothing too expensive. Just some casual date stuff so we can get the vibe and get to know each other. She then said she didn't get her hair done, her nails done, her makeup, her eyelashes. She needed an outfit, the whole nine yards, just for a daytime date. So I told her, I said, hey, it's not even all that serious. Well, you don't need to do all that. You just come, bring yourself, bring your nice, sweet attitude. Ooh, do, ooh, do, ooh. She threw a big ass fit. Well, you get my hair done. You get my nails done. You get this done. I'm on the, just on the phone just waiting till she gets done. You know I'm saying? You the man. You a provider, right? You a protector, right? You provide. You do it. You, since you want to see me so bad, needless to say, we did not go on that date. That was dead. So we recently took a trip to the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana, right? And I never seen the entitlement that U.S. women had until the night we went to the, the, the nightclub, right? And the people was like, we don't serve cups. We only serve bottles. And everybody just got angry as hell. And I just was laughing because I was like, y'all are so entitled. We don't have to do that at home. We don't have to do that. Okay, you're not home. You're not home, babe. You're paying for your own stuff tonight. Yeah, you're, you you want to get drunk? You paying to get drunk. This is not on nobody else's dime. I just found it so funny because they felt as if the guys that was in there should have bought them a bottle. And I was like, uh, yeah, no, that's not what's going on now. And then somebody made a comment. They was like, nobody in here better not try to talk to me. And I had to buy my own bottle. I was like, oh, the entitlement is real. And I was like, this is so embarrassing. Come on, let's patch up. Let's get the bottle. And let's just do what we got to do because this is embarrassing. Y'all doing so much. Like... Oh, it was, it was, it was a mess, y'all. I was like, mm, I said what I said. I just looked. This whole word entitled, entitlement, when men say that women are entitled. Ladies, this is what this man is looking for, okay? Someone who is a true partner, someone who he can confide in, that he can trust, who respects him, inspires him, speaks to him with kindness and respect, um has sex with him when he wants to have sex, um, cooks dinners together, keeps the house tidy, respects the space that they're building together. Um, there are just like a list of things that, you know what, if a woman brings those things to the table, you're not entitled. And then that man will do anything for you. It's all these bitchy women out there who are barking orders to men to take them to dinners, to pay for everything, to buy them shopping sprees, to take them on vacations. You sound like bratty, chihuahua, yappy bitches, and nobody wants that in their life.